welcome to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Etta. Today we're going to be doing an awesome project. Now, if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos and share. Okay, with all this being said, let's get crafting. Come on. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Crafty Lady Etta. Guys, today we're going to do a really cute little uh, doggy Valentine puppy with his balloons. So you're going to need some box for I bought this one at Hobby Lobby for $2.99, $3.49, I'm sorry, regular price. You're going to need any, any round object. I'm just going to use a tin can. Uh, some ribbon or bowls, you can use these. I'm going to use these also. Or these, I got these two at Dollar Tree. Look how cute. Look, this one has hearts, can you see them? And then this one is a red pink ribbon with hearts on the top and on the bottom. These are so cute. I saw them the day at Hobby Lobby. You're going to need a, a brown nose. It could be painted ball or one of these little uh, round floppy ones that I have. You're going to need some red belt or red uh, styrofoam board. I happen to have this from Hobby Lobby from last year, so I'm gonna use this to make the tongue. And you're gonna need, uh, I got these today at Hobby Lobby. These, I'm turning these into balloons. So I just hot glued them to some pipe cleaners. So it's gonna be the doggy with his little Valentine balloons. Okay, but well, with all this being said, let's get started. Okay, first of all, you're gonna need two And again, this uh, box fur makes a lot of a lot of big mess. So you want to do this with the fur going down, okay? So, like I did the other one, I'm just going to measure it, and we're going to put this all the way around. A lot of times, when it doesn't fit, we're going to have to improvise and cut another little piece. So you're going to need to need to cut enough to uh, kind of like stuff it inside the can. Guys, let me show you. When you cut it, you should be able to lift up this part here when you cut it so you won't cut the fur. The, when you cut the fur, it makes a big mess. But if you get it from in here and kind of like cut it on the very tip, you'll be able to cut it without cutting any fur. Okay, now let me see. is going to be so cute and I'm just going to need a little bit
Okay, guys. Um, I want to show you. This is a puppy that I did last year that everybody on the internet have been going crazy over. This one. This is the one that I did from last year. I thought it came out super cute. So I thought I'd do a little Valentine one. He's cute, huh? And this one, I just did this one like this because I'm going to put a bow up here on the top. Okay? Make it look like a little hair sticking up. Just fix his hair, kind of make it like messy. Okay, now, let me go ahead and cut out his tongue. right under his nose. And I'm gonna put him a little bow. I'm thinking of maybe this red um, heart one. I think this one would be nice. This one? I'll make a little bow out of this one. I think it would be so cute. I think this one would be really cute. Or I might put another little bow. Let me see. I think I'm gonna put a bow here. Maybe a little pearl. 
or maybe another little let me see I think I might put a little pearl okay guys see how the little bow for the hair is coming out I'm thinking of either putting a little pearl or I found this in my button stash it's an old earring it's a heart so I'm thinking I might put the heart earring It is Valentine's, so you could put any type of embellishments. I try to use uh, recycled stuff. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and put it on the hair. to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the balloon like the little puppy has his little valentine balloons but I'm going to stick them to the side underneath the can so what I'm going to do I'm just gonna twist tie these all together hot glue this to the bottom of the can. Guys, here's a finished product. Thought it came out super cute. There's a little hair. Very simple to do. Very simple. Little Poppy with his little Valentine balloons. So cute. The gnome that I'm going to do tomorrow is going to be really nice. It's going to be a terracotta gnome. And it'll also be for Valentine's. But these are things that you can make that you can give out as gifts. You can give it out with candy and whatever else you want to give it out and these are so cute i love the little puppies i did a cat one time it's in my it's in the rest of my uh stream of videos but check that out okay well if you like what i do please subscribe tap that notification bell and youtube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos and share okay and with all this in mind keep on crafting bye